Aquarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for October 24th through the 30th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky known as Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below for more information. All right, so Aquarius, this week we have another new moon at the end of the week on Sunday, um, and it's another one in your eighth house. So um, this is the house of everything deeper in life. This is the house of intimacy and openness with life and with yourself and with relationships. And also, too, shared resources, the importance of having healthy interdependency. So this was the location of your last uh, new moon. And so things are certainly continuing with that. And now again, another new moon involving this eighth house. So the transformations are certainly occurring. I think a lot of the transformations will be next week um, as the sun and Mercury go into um, your ninth house, which is much more about the adventure spirits and the expansion and all that. But this weekend, really listening and seeing if there is anything that you can develop so that you have more meaning in your life. So you are cultivating the things that are important to you, that matter to you. And perhaps, again, where you can have a bit of openness, intimacy, and even um, sharing resources. Because, again, we're all in living in an interdependent world. <clears throat> and so this is what the eighth house signifies is it is to a degree healthy to depend on others and rely on others. In fact, there is some, maybe some opportunities you can be deriving at the moment uh, through that interdependency. And I just want to say, you know, with Jupiter, just make sure it's nice and balanced. Um, you don't want to get yourself caught up into any bonds or any debts or things like that. But with a healthy amount of self-reliance and interdependency, I think it's a good um, energy to work with. Now, there's a lot of aspects taking place this week. Um, as you can see here, this is all leading up towards the new moon, which will be on Sunday. Uh, let's go and break this down one by one here. Tuesday and Wednesday, Venus is forming a couple aspects. She'll be squaring Neptune, sextiling Jupiter. I do want to mention that Venus is in your 10th house. <clears throat> And we'll be conjoining up to your ruler Saturn this week, particularly around the weekend, around Friday and Saturday. So as the week unfolds, you might be feeling good, looking good. Maybe there's a bit of beauty there. Maybe there's some uh, some relationships at work that are developing or something that has to do with values or you're seeing the value about your career and work. And this is very important because this has been a very important area for you this past year with Saturn in your 10th helping you be patient and grounded and uh, long-term and disciplined when it comes to your career or your productive life, whatever that is for you. So uh, another great week to continue with all of that. I think you can enjoy it with Venus and in many ways this new beginning about the values and the relationships and maybe even the, the emotional connection actually that you have with your career. Maybe even some new things unfolding with your personal life, uh, home, family, and health as well. So that's the conjunction. But uh, before that happens, Venus will be squaring up to Neptune from your first house. So Tuesday and Wednesday, these two days, if you're feeling a bit uncertain or doubtful about the uh, career, about the home life, about those expansive horizons, you know, your possibilities in life, do give it a bit of space, step back a bit or be present with it. You know, presence is always the best way of working with Neptune because uh, we may not have all the information or there may be some uncertainty for projecting too far into the future. There can be some doubts. A lot of this has been involving your goals and, and even who you are in many ways. And so there's a lot being flushed out at the moment about old patterns having to do with your independence, having to do with yourself, um, your self-image and all this stuff that may be extreme or unhealthy. So uh, with Neptune, though, it is about really connecting to the true essence of who you are. You know, after you strip away all the layers of your ego and of, of mental concepts of who we are and all this mental noise, we get at the feeling, at the core. And this is a great week to work on that development there. Now, the Venus will be sextiling up to Jupiter, suggesting that, again, there's good positive support here for openness, intimacy, and the deeper transformations, and maybe even that energy coming in through the career front also. Now, as we get into the weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday-ish, uh, Mars is going to be squaring up to Uranus and sextiling up to Chiron. <clears throat> so I want to talk about this Mars and the fact that these past few weeks, maybe there's been a bit more directness about your aspirations, maybe directness with communities or groups or your friends. <clears throat> and there was some even transformations that occurred last week when Mars conjoined up to Pluto that uh, maybe transformed you, freed you up, uh, got rid of some old patterns having to do with those inner or outer aspirations. So whatever that's been, it's still an excellent week to continue to move things forward. Um, again, with the career, with the aspirations, with whatever transformations occurred last week. 
and um, and that's the energy for you, you know, having to do with future things. Now, Mars squaring up to this Uranus around Friday and Saturday does suggest that if you're feeling a bit impulsive about this stuff, or maybe about finances <clears throat> or the material life, if you're feeling a bit erratic about that, uh, do give it a bit of space because Uranus can, um, you know, create some extremes and some impulsive energy. So uh, it is about listening, though. There's something your intuition is telling you about your finances or about your sense of self-worth and to implement it in a nice, slow and steady way without any rash, you know, uh, decisions there, which can sometimes be the case with the square up to Uranus. And I think as a result, too, you're, what's happening is, is you're actually healing your sense of self-worth, you know, your self-reliance in many ways. And there might be some wounds about that, but I think that's actually going to be feel, feeling quite rejuvenated because of the positive energy from Chiron. So do know that things are certainly continuing to unfold here for you. But um, yeah, do have, you know, give it that patient approach and be aware of if there is any impulsive or erratic energy involving both aspirations and even the um, material life, maybe even to the, the career since Mars does rule the 10th. All right, so that's the week in a nutshell. Definitely emphasis on the career stuff with Venus conjoining up to Saturn there. Again, this is more about the values you derive from your career and all that good stuff, even the values of yourself in many ways feeling good, looking good, quite possibly the energy that you can be gaining through your aspirations and future stuff with a bit of that observation that I was talking about with that square. Uh, but all in all, what's the big theme here is that this is all about really connecting to the deeper side to life. You know, the eighth house, what really matters to you and perhaps reflecting on that over the weekend. And again, where you can have a bit of that openness and healthy interdependency. All right, Aquarius, so have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.